Hey, less lethal people. So how's everybody doing today? So for a while now, I've been wondering uh, what results would I get with the Salt S2 if I tried the new Grimberg rounds, the Jewel V3s. Most of the guys have the Jewel V2s as well as myself. I had a few and I'm curious because they changed up the formula, the composition. Instead of using copper, they're up using iron powder or iron in it now to make them magnetic for their new detents. So I reached out to Grimberg and I ordered myself a little pack and they came this morning. I opened them up to check them out and I have them and I actually compared them to my other Jewel V2s. I don't want to mix them up. I have a Jewel V2 here and I have Jewel V3 here. Now, when I weigh them, I notice this, the Jewel V3, all of them that I weighed were 7.8 grams. One or two were like almost 7.9, they fluctuated. So, yep, 7.9, 7.8, all right, so they fluctuated between 7.8 and 7.9, which that point is nothing. The older ones, however, are eight on the nose, every single one of them. But I noticed their size is, it says on the package, it says they're 6.86. The Grimberg, I believe the old ones was 6.84. Now I'm not sure, but I can tell you this, I know the barrel for this is 6.87, just about. So they're very, very closely matched to the bar of this at 6.86. They're also the, the same exact size, just about as the um, salt supply kinetics. Neither the salt supply or the Jewel V3s fit down the barrel of my uh, Home Defense 24. Vulcan M17 barrel. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to, I have six Joule V3s in here and a fresh CO2. I'm going to puncture it. I did it a little while ago too, so I'm not really too sure what the, if it warmed up, but let's see what we got here as far as power wise goes. First shot. And then you know what we'll do? Well, I'm gonna write them down. I wanna see the jewels. 248 feet per second. 248. So let's see what that was. 248. As far as jewels go. The calculator right here. So that was at 248, calculate, and 22, 22 joules, that equals. So, we're starting off with 22 joules from the Salt Supply S2 with the Joule V3s. I think that's really good. Let's do the next, remember we got six of these, so let's see what we get. 240. Eight feet is not bad to drop. 238. My jewel V3 bounces back and goes across the room. Two thirty. Two more shots. Two twenty six. Pretty consistent. Dropping in very small increments. Oh, that was it. I only got five shots. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, yep, I had five shots. My bad. Okay. So, I had it loaded up with five shots. And. Fifth one is on the floor somewhere over here. Let's come back and see what we got. So we got five shots. Let's get them back in the magazine. Four and five. So the first one was 22 joules. Next one we got 240. Twenty one joules. Two thirty eight. Twenty joules, two thirty. This is pretty good. Nineteen point four joules and two twenty six. Eighteen point seven four joules, so almost nineteen. 18.74. So, we started off with 22 joules, and each shot went down one joule. That's amazing. That is wonderful consistency. 22, and you saw me do the math right here. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. I think these are probably going to be your best bet for heavy-weighted kinetic. I did get 20 joules with the salt supply, 21 joules with them, and then it dropped down to like 15. I think this is much better. It's a heavier round. It's going to be definitely take more energy to stop it. I have the other five in here. It's the same CO2. We could just finish it off because we might as well, right? You don't want to waste CO2. Let's see what we got now with the last five, same CO2 cartridge. We're not going to do the jewels on these. It's trivial for me. I only really believe in the first uh, magazine for self-defense when it comes to less lethal. Ooh, 238. So it's probably building up some pressure while it's yapping, which is pretty good. That's 20 jewels. We already had a 238 before. Two thirty. Not bad. We had a two thirty before. Nineteen joules, so twenty. Nineteen joules on the seven shot. That's pretty funny. Now it's two sixteen. That dropped pretty low. I still say two sixteen is about probably seventeen sixteen joules. One ninety two. Now we're getting to the bottom. Now we're getting. To the and that last one was really good. One forty four. So that was a good one. So. Guys, I think these Grimberg Jewel V threes are the winner for um, kinetic impact rounds with the Salt Supply S two. I think they're really close to this bore at 686. I think the weight is perfect. I think the composition is perfect. And I think they hit hard. I mean, you can't, come on, burn it. Anybody really out there, you cannot beat that consistency. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18 joules. Each shot to go down one joule. That's, that's 
fantastic. So that's a hit right there. All right, hope you guys enjoy.